He's the best leader for the U.S.-India relationship and for the global economic stability of the world. Moreover, he is a leader who believes in the empowerment of women. From paving the way for President Ramu's historic election, to appointing women in key cabinet positions, to encouraging Indian women athletes in their achievements, the Prime Minister stands for women. Today, India faces a defining moment, right here in Bihar, where the value of women is being challenged. And I believe there is only one answer to this challenge. After Chief Minister Natish Kumarji's comments, I believe a courageous woman needs to step up and declare her candidacy to run for Chief Minister of Bihar. If I were a citizen of India, I would move to Bihar and run for Chief Minister. In the Holy Scriptures, Queen Esther was admonished to boldly approach her husband, the king, to save her Jewish people. It was Mordecai who challenged Esther to see her place as queen, her place and time in the kingdom as a defining moment to save her Jewish people. Mordecai said to Esther, who knows but that you, Esther, have come to the kingdom, made queen for such a time as this. I believe the time is now for Nutish Kumar to resign and for an Esther to arise in Bihar. I believe the BJP should empower a woman to lead in Bihar. This would be the true sentiment of women empowerment and development in response. Or the people of Bihar do as SRK admonished in the film Jawan, vote and bring change. You the people of Bihar, the people of India have the power to vote in a woman, the power to vote in change for such a time as this. Namaste.